Republican Representative Jim Jordan wants to be the next Speaker of the House. He's hoping to take the seat after Kevin McCarthy was ousted largely by his own party. John Lawrence tells us Jordan is facing an uphill battle due to some House Republicans. It's been 13 days since Representative Kevin McCarthy was voted out as Speaker of the House. And the role is still vacant. It's time to end the Republican Civil War so we can get back to doing the business of the American people. The Republican conference nominated Rep. Jim Jordan of Ohio for speaker last week. However, numerous GOP sources tell CNN dozens of House Republicans will vote no for Jordan. Nothing's impossible, uh, but it's, it's going to be really, really difficult based on what I'm hearing. To become Speaker of the House, a nominee has to secure the majority of the full House, which because of two vacancies is 217 votes. That means any Republican, in this case Jordan, can only lose four GOP votes if the Democrats unanimously vote for Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries. We want to ensure that votes are taken on bills that have substantial Democratic support and substantial Republican support so that the extremists aren't able to dictate the agenda. The House is expected to hold a vote for House Speaker on Tuesday, according to an email CNN obtained from House Minority Whip Catherine Clark. We have a lot of people on the bench. Uh, I think Jim Jordan will be an excellent speaker. I think he'll be able to get to 217. If not, we have other leaders in the House. John Lawrence, WDRB News.